thank you for viewing us from the Diplomat College Center, Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet Ambassador by the will of God. Today, coming to join us in this online seminar is Pastor Elvira, Pastor Ambassador, God Pastor Ambassador of Manila, Filipino, Filipino, Antipolo City. Pastor Elvira from Manila, Philippines, Antipolo City. She is joining us now. Pastor Elvira. Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the glory, and the power forever and ever. Amen and amen. Welcome to our online seminar brought to you by Global Diplomat College Center. Our vision, transforming students into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Diplomat College Center, and give us your comments and likes, and click on that notification bell to get the latest video. Our session teaching today is about Kingdom Government on Earth. This is part one. Um, let us welcome Prophet Force from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina, USA. Thank you very much. Good day, Prophet Forbes. Uh, uh, we uh, see that the governments are failing globally. There's so many chaos and confusion, especially now that we have this uh, pandemic, COVID-19, and uh, climate change, and the rise of terrorism, and so forth, and so on. So, will you please explain to us and tell us how God viewed governments? Wow. That is a wonderful question. <laughs> I love to answer that. Glory to God. To understand that question, we must go back to where God originally made human. Am I clear? As we go back to the time where God made human, it's found in subsection Genesis one twenty six twenty seven, and God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Let them have dominion. God is love. He give man the same power he possess. Wow. Ang Diyos ay pag-ibig, binigyan niya ang tao ng katulad na kapangyarihan na kanyang taglay. God is Father, our Father. Ang Diyos ay ang ating Ama. When you speak about Father, you the next word you got to know is that government. Father is the government of heaven. The government of heaven and earth. Wow. He made man in his image and in his likeness. And he gave him the same power he possessed. He gave him a will, 
to choose. And he gave them dominion. Dominion means kingdom. Dominion means government. Dominion means royalty. Leadership. He gave man government. Man lost that government because of the fall. In other words, he didn't allow man to enter the Garden of Eden. He put him there in a garden called Eden to work it, to take care of it, and to dress it. Now, here it is. Our government are failing around the world, in every country, every nation. That's because of our forefather Adam. The spirit of rebelliousness. Adam rebelled against a government, a kingdom. <laughs> the penalty for rebellious, it is death. So Jesus died that you may receive the government back in your life. Si Jesus Cristo ay namatay para ipalauli sa inyo ang pamahalaan na nawala kay Adam. I told you to understand this teaching about those questions that were just asked and I'm going to address those questions right now. When human race fall, when Adam fell, man was independent. He was in a world all of his own. He had to go and find his government and he seek a religion trying to find God back again. He lost his father. He lost his identity. He lost his home. He lost a government. And he lost God. Nawala kay Adan ang kapamahalaan, ang pamahalaan, ang kapamahalaan, at ang Diyos. Now, do you don't know that Adam was the first government on earth? Adam was the first king on earth. Eve was the first queen. They represented the government of heaven. Si Adan ang unang hari at ang unang pamalaan sa lupa na kumakatawan sa langit. It was God's idea for human government that human govern through God, who is King of Heaven. Ito ay ideya ng Diyos na pamahalaan ang lupa sa pamamagitan ng pamahalaan ng langit. Fail government. How can we solve the problem that arise in the world today because a pandemic covered 19 had took the world in a tailspin and is trying itself to get back to normal whereby life come back to a normal way of living so the government rely on health on on science they rely on doctors they rely on their expertise of disease control which are scientists and they try to solve that problem with their idea sinusubukan na ng pamahalaan na uh, i-solve ang problema sa buong sanlibutan especially ngayong may pandemic COVID-19 okay because of the rise of terrorism that is a spirit of religion. Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Islam, it is a spirit of religion. God never ever promised a religious government. <laughs> Sinusubukan na ng pamahalaan na 
dahil sa pagangat ng terorismo, ang uh, ito ay espiritu ng relihiyon. Uh, Ngunit hindi pinangako ng Diyos ang ganong bagay. Islam has an ideology. An ideology is a belief. Christianity has an ideology. An ideology is a theology. It is a human belief. Ang Islam nga ay mayroong ideolohiya at ito ay kanilang paniniwala at ganun din ang Kristiyanismo. Politicians, special interest group, the COVID-19 pandemic show that a failed government. Ang COVID-19 nga ay at ang mga politician at mga special interest group ay nagpapakita ng bigong pamahalaan. It showed that the United States of America, the richest country in the whole world, need a Medicaid medical plan for all. Every citizen should be covered by Medicaid, and every citizen should be covered by the health care needs should be covered. Pinapakita ng Estados Unidos ng Amerika na ang lahat ay kailangan na sa sakop ng Medicare plan or Medicare health care. COVID-19 exposed the employment-based health insurance coverage, economical shut down because of lost of job people were jobless dahil sa covid-19 ang employment ay economical breakdown dahil karamihan sa mga tao ay walang trabaho because of the covid-19 and the pandemic and because of businesses that been closed that show that many people were not able to qualify themselves or not able to have enough financial support for their health insurance. Dahil sa COVID-19 at ang mga negosyo ay sarado ay hindi nila hindi sila maka-avail ng kanilang mga health insurance. The COVID-19 pandemic show that if they had health insurance, and if they had Medicaid for all, then every American will be covered in the health care and they will stop the spread of this disease. Ang COVID-19 pandemic na ay pinapakita na kung ang lahat ay merong health insurance, kung gayon ang pandemic na to ay mawawala. Not even will they eradicate the spread of the disease, but they will save many lives. Hindi lang ito mawawala ang pagkalat ng sakit na ito kung hindi ito ay makapagliligtas ng maraming buhay. In other words, America, United States of America, health care system need to be re- overhauled. Ibig sabihin, ang healthcare system ng Estados Unidos ng Amerika ay kailangang ayusin. Other government system in the world, healthcare system, need to be overhauled. Ang ibang government system sa buong mundo ay kailangang ayusin at baguhin. Because of the rise of terrorism, because of ideology and belief of Governments and belief of religious leader had caused more war in the world than any entity in the world. Ang pagangat ng terorismo ang nagdudulot ng malaking kaguluhan sa buong mundo. Let's take a look and rediscover the government God promised. Let's see what God has to say about this government he promised i want to say this to you human problem will be solved when they accept god idea 
of the government he promised. Ang problema na siyang katauhan ay malulutas lamang kung kanilang tatanggapin ang pamahalaan ipinangako ng Diyos. There are 196 nations on the earth. And citizens of those countries, they have election. They have election and when they, with their intention, when they go, go vote to vote for their government, they want a good government which can eradicate and save their sons and daughters from many difficulties and crises they confronted. Merong isang daan, siyam na put anim na bansa sa buong mundo at sila ay hinahalal ng mga mamabayan upang magkaroon ng mabuting pamahalaan at makalutas ng iba't ibang krisis at problema. Now, the same citizen who born in your country, who went to school in your country, who been educated and grown up in your country, is the same citizen that you choose from among the citizen. He may be a lawyer, he may be a doctor, he may be a professional, he may be an entrepreneur. The same man you choose to place him as your president. Ang, ang mamamayan na yun na pinanganak at uh, pumunta sa nag-aral at nag, uh, siya din na ginagawang pinipiling pangulo o chief citizen ng inyong bansa. Not only you choose him, you want him be a man who could eradicate and solve the problems and the issue that we confronted. The issue of the pandemic, the issue of the economy, the issue of health care, the issue of many issues that your nation are faced in. And the rise of terrorism, you want him to solve these problems. At ito ang piniling mamamayang ito ay uh, siya yung nais ninyo na maglutas uh, ng mga iba't ibang problema sa inyong mga bansa. God promises a government. Nangako ang Diyos ng isang pamahalaan. He never promised an Islam religious government. Hindi niya ipinangako ang Islam na religious government. He never promised a Christian democracy government. O isang demokrasya ng pamahalaan. He never promised us a socialist government. Hindi siya nangako na isang socialist na pamahalaan. Never promised a the never promised as a dictatorship government. O isang diktadura ang pamahalaan. But he promised us a kingdom government. When the prison houses are overcrowded, so many lawlessness in the country, in many countries in the world, they don't have law and order. The rise of crime everywhere, as it was in the days of law, is the same crime that is today in our country. Puno nga ang mga prison houses dahil sa kawalang pagsunod sa batas at ito ay katulad ng panahon ni Noah. Now, pastors, bishops, politicians, judges of the earth, all of you who hold offices in leadership, I want to give you God idea of government. <laughs> I would love to give you how the government problem can be solved. Kayo mga pastor, mga bishops, mga huwes, mga iba't ibang mga namumuno sa pamahalaan, ibibigay ko sa inyo ang pamahalaan na ipinangako ng Diyos. Isaiah was a prophet. Foresee the government coming ahead. Through 1800 years, see, he looked ahead and saw a government. 
Si Isaiah nga ay isang propeta at nakita niya sa kanyang unahan ang pamahalaan na, ibinipirapa, na ibinibigay ng Diyos. Because we humans, we lost the government and the fall. Sapagkat nawala sa atin ang pamahalaan ng tayo ay bumagsak. Let's see what Isaiah said. Tignan natin kung noong sinasabi ni Isaiah. Isaiah 9.6 Isaiah 9.6 So Isaiah 9 and 6 Now, this particular scripture and this message that every Christmas religious people and pastors pull out this message and preach about their Christmas message about Jesus is in the manger and other things and every yard has also manger in it With the little baby Jesus in the manger and the little statue, and the little Christmas decoration and everything, they they have a Christmas message on this message. But this is not a Christmas message. Itong talatang ito ay ginagawang Christmas message tuwing Pasko, ngunit hindi ito isang Christmas message. Let us see and answer that question for you about what Jesus say about a government. Am I clear? Let's understand what Jesus said about a government. For unto us That's mean every human, unto every human who live on the earth, unto us, you and I. A child is born. Now remember, when the devil stole the dominion from Adam, from his wife Eve, God made a promise with him. <laughs> It was in Genesis 3:15, and his seed will crush the thing. And you shall bruise his heel. Sa Genesis 3.15 At papag-alitin ko ikaw at ang babae at ang iyong bini at ang kanyang bini at tuturok ang ng iyong ulo. The same woman who Satan deceived to lost the government and she gave her husband off the fruit of disobedience and rebelliousness He ate it. But God used another woman. Wow. This woman named Mary. The angel spoke called seed in Mary and said she shall have a child and thou shall call his name Jesus. Ang anghel na ay nagsalita mula sa bibig ng Diyos at nilagay nga ang binhi sa sinapupunan ni Maria at sinabing ikaw ay mga anak at ang pangalan ng iyong anak ay Jesus. That body of Jesus, he carry the kings in that body. A king was in him. Ang isang hari ay nasa loob ni Maria. The king left heaven. Come down in Jesus Christ. Don't you know when Jesus was born, Nagi came from the east to worship him. Magi is kings. Ang mga Magi ay kings. Kings worship him. At dumating na para sumbayin siya. And say, where is the king? 
king that was born, we came to worship him. At nagtanong nga, nasaan ang hari na ipinanganap? Naparito kami upang siya ay sambahin. And his son is given. Ang isang lalaki ay ibinigay. Mary bring the child, God give the son. Pinanganap nga ni Maria ang, lal- ang isang sanggol, ngunit ang Diyos ay nagbigay ng isang bata. And the government. At ang pamahalaan. That is kingdom government. Ito ay kingdom government. I came to it. <laughs> ay pumarito sa lupa. Kingdom government had came to earth through Jesus Christ. When he came from heaven, he bring kingdom government back on earth. Then siya ay pumarito sa lupa, dinala ng Panginoong Jesus ay isang kingdom government. Back on earth. Pabalik sa lupa. The government should be on him, shoulder. Ang pamangalan ay maatang sa kanyang balikat. And he shall be called. At siya ay tatawagin. Wunder Counselor. Kamangha-mangha, tagapayo. Mighty God. Makapangyarihan Diyos. Who's the mighty God? The Father. So he will be called mighty God. The mighty God is in Jesus Christ. Ang makapangyarihan Diyos ay ang ama na nasa Panginoong Jesus. Everlasting Father. Ama. See, the everlasting father is the government he brought. The prince of peace. Ng of the increase of his government. Ang ng Now I'm about to explain his government. In America, they have three branch of the government. They have the President, who is the executive branch, they have the legislative branch, and they have the judicial branch. That's three branches of government. So, Estados Unidos ay mayroong tatlong branch ng pamahalaan, executive, legislative, and judicial government. <laughs> In the kingdom, they have one branch. The government, the legislative, the judicial, and the executive is in one, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sa kariyan, mayroon lamang isang branch ng pamahalaan. Ang executive, legislative, ay judicial ay nasa Panginoong Isokristo lamang. He's all in one. Ang lahat nasa isa. He don't need to check with the Senate. Hindi siya kailangang uh, itama sa Senado. You don't need to check with Congress. O itama sa Kongreso. No, you need to check with you. O hindi siya kailangang itama ninyo. When he speak, his word is law. Pag siya ay nagsalita, ito ay batas. Let's see what he said. Tignan natin kung ano ang kanyang sinasabi. And the increase of his government. At ang paglago ng kanyang pamamahala, It will be increased in America. Ito ay lalago sa Amerika. It will be increased in Asia. Sa Asia. It will be increased in England. Sa Inglaterra. In all the European nation. At sa lahat ng mga Europe. All the Caribbean nation. Sa lahat ng Caribbean nations. His government of the increase of his government. Ang kanyang pamahalaan, ang paglago nito, A government of peace. Ay isang pamahalaan ng kapayapaan. A government of righteousness. Lang katwiran. A government of justice. Lang kahatulan. He will reign on David's throne. Siya ay luluklok sa luklukan ni David. And over his kingdom. At sa kanyang kaharian. To exercise it with justice. Judgment. For the zeal of the Lord. I'm making myself clear. 
ang gagawa nito, ito ba ay malinaw? Now, this government has a matter care for all. Ang pamalang ito ay merong Medicare sa lahat. It's free Medicare. Ito ay libre. Kingdom government has free Medicare. Ang kingdom government ay merong libre. You know how I know? Ask me. I experienced free Medicare from the kingdom government. Paano ko to nalaman? Tanungin niyo ako sapagat akin itong naranasan. The man who preaching to you now had a stroke. Ang taong nangangaral sa inyo ngayon ay nagkaroon ng stroke. The man who preaching to you had six bypass surgery. Dumaan sa six bypass na the man who preaching to you had one week to live At meron isang linggo para mabuhay. so I preach what I what I experience Kaya nga, ko ang aking I got healed from the kingdom government Ako ay mula sa kingdom government I'm eyewitness of his healing Ako ay patutuo sa kanyang kagaling. I'm evidence of his miracle. Ako ay ebidensya ng kanyang himala. Experience of power. Naranasan ko ang kanyang kapangyarihan. Now let me tell you something. In the book of Mark 2, 4. Sa aklat ng Mateo 4. Jesus went throughout all Galilee teaching in the synagogue. Ang Panginoon nga ay bumabalib na sa palibot ng Galilea at nangangaral Proclaiming the good news of the kingdom Na ipinahahayag ang mabuting balita ng kaharian The kingdom is a government Ang kingdom ay isang government Led by the king Na pinamumunuan ng hari The kingdom government heal all, every disease Sa kingdom government, nagpapagaling ng lahat ng mayroong karamdaman. The world government still have disease. Ang salitang government ay mayroong mga sakit. It been years, the pandemic still here. Taon na ang COVID-19 pandemic ay narito sa sanlibutan. Now, if you are the president and the pandemic still here, you will fire those healthcare workers, you'll fire those scientists because they're not solving the problem. They're giving you a band-aid. Kung ikaw ang Pangulo at nakikita mong walang solusyon sa COVID-19 pandemic, patatalsikin mo, aalisin mo sa kanilang kinalalagyan at posisyon ang mga, <laughs> ang mga experts na to at mga Doctors na to. Jesus heal all pandemic. Nagpapagaling ang Panginoong Jesus ng lahat ng pandemic. Every sickness and disease among the people. Lahat ng mga sakit sa lahat ng mga tao. 